Within you, there is a stillness and sanctuary to which you can retreat at any time and be yourself. Whoever wants music instead of noise, joy instead of pleasure, soul instead of gold, creative work instead of business, passion instead of foolery, finds no home in this trivial world of ours. Some of us think holding on makes us strong, but sometimes it is letting go. I have always believed, and I still believe, that whatever good or bad fortune may come our way, we can always give it meaning and transform into something of value. The true profession of a man is to find his way to himself. There is no reality except the one contained within us. That is why so many people live such an unreal life. They take the images outside them for reality and never allow the world within to assert itself. Every experience has its element of magic. To achieve the possible, we must attempt the impossible again and again. When you like someone, you like them in spite of their faults. When you love someone, you love them with their faults. Learn what is to be taken seriously and laugh at the rest. We kill at every step not only in wars, riots and executions. We kill when we close our eyes to poverty, suffering and shame. In the same way, all disrespect for life, all hard-heartedness, all indifference, all contempt is nothing else than killing. To hold our tongues when everyone is gossiping, to smile without hostility at people and institutions, to compensate for the shortage of love in the world with more love in small. Private matters, to be more faithful in our work, to show greater patience, to forego the cheap revenge obtainable from mockery and criticism, all these are things we can do. Love your suffering. Do not resist it. Do not flee from it. It is only your aversion to it that hurts, nothing else. Any attempt to replace a personal conscience by a collective conscience does violence to the individual and is the first step toward totalitarianism. The deity is within you, not in ideas and books. Truth is lived, not taught. Only within yourself exists that other reality for which you long. The truth has a million faces, but there is only one truth. Because the world is so full of death and horror, I try again and again to console my heart and pick the flowers that grow in the midst of hell. When the suffering becomes acute enough, one goes forward. Gentleness is stronger than severity. Water is stronger than rock. Love is stronger than force. Love must neither beg nor demand. Love must be strong enough to find certainty within itself. It then ceases to be moved and becomes the mover. Have you also learned the secret from the river, that there is no such thing as time, that the river is everywhere at the same time, at the source and at the mouth, at the waterfall, at the ferry, at the current, in the ocean and in the mountains, everywhere, and that the present only exists for it, not the shadow of the past, nor the shadow of the future. I live in my dreams, that's what you sense. Other people live in dreams, but not in their own. That's the difference. All the books of the world full of thoughts and poems are nothing in comparison to a minute of sobbing. When feeling surges in waves, the soul feels itself profoundly and finds itself. Tears are the melting ice of snow. All angels are close to the crying person. If you hate a person, you hate something in him that is part of yourself. What isn't part of ourselves doesn't disturb us. A home isn't just a roof over our heads. A home is a place where we feel loved and where we love others. It's a place we belong. Love is what makes a home, not the contents inside the house or the number on the door. It's the people waiting for us across the threshold, 
the people who will take us in their arms after a hard day and kiss us good night and good morning every day for the rest of our lives. God does not send us despair in order to kill us. He sends it in order to awaken us to new life. You have to try the impossible to achieve the possible. Loneliness is the way by which destiny endeavors to lead man to himself. A tree has something to say to us, be still, be still, look at me, home is within you, or home is nowhere at all. I began to understand that suffering, disappointments, and melancholy are there not to vex us or cheapen us, or deprive us of our dignity, but to mature and transfigure us. You must find your dream, then the way becomes easy. The truth is lived, not taught. You are only afraid if you are not in harmony with yourself. People are afraid because they have never owned up to themselves. Knowledge can be communicated, but not wisdom. One can find it, live it, be fortified by it, who wanders through it, but one cannot communicate and teach it. Beauty does not bring happiness to the one who possesses it, but to the one who loves and admires it. Madness, in a higher sense, is the beginning of all wisdom. People with courage and character always seem sinister to the rest. Life is waiting everywhere. The future is flowering everywhere, but we only see a small part of it and step on much of it with our feet. Happiness is a how, not a what, a talent, not an object. Wisdom is nothing but a preparation of the soul, a capacity, a secret art of thinking, feeling and breathing thoughts of unity at every moment of life. The truth has a million faces, but there is only one truth. Any attempt to replace a personal conscience by a collective conscience does violence to the individual and is the first step toward totalitarianism. Love must neither beg nor demand. Love must be strong enough to find certainty within itself. It then ceases to be moved and becomes the mover. The man of power is ruined by power, the man of money by money, the submissive man by subservience, the pleasure seeker by pleasure. I do not consider myself less ignorant than most people. I have been and still am a seeker, but I have ceased to question stars and books. I have begun to listen to the teachings my blood whispers to me. My story is not a pleasant one. It is neither sweet nor harmonious as invented stories are. It has the taste of nonsense and chaos, of madness and dreams, like the lives of all men who stop deceiving themselves. You know quite well deep within youth that there is only a single magic, a single power, a single salvation, and that is called loving. Well then, love your suffering. Do not resist it. Do not flee from it. It is your aversion that hurts, nothing else. Only within yourself exists that other reality for which you long.